Welcome to another instructional snippet. In this snippet, we will be setting up and solving a simple manometer problem. Although the example is simple, the methods employed here will be applicable to more complex and interesting problems. A gas system is connected to a manometer as shown. The manometer is open to atmosphere. We want to find the absolute and gauge pressure in the gas system. The density of the liquid is equal to 78.8 .8 pounds mass per cubic feet. Looks like we'll be using English engineering units. English? Who needs that? I'm never going to England. Atmospheric pressure is 14.7 PSIA. The length of the liquid column L, as shown, is 60 inches. Now let's set up to solve the problem. We will assume that the density and the weight of the gas is negligible. The next step is to pick reference points at the same elevation. In this example, we select points 1 and 2 as shown. P1 is now equal to P2. Since the weight of the gas is negligible, P2 is equal to the system pressure, which is the unknown. Some more complex manometer problems have multiple liquids, and setup may not be as straightforward. Here is a solution hint. Two reference points are at the same pressure if they're at the same elevation and you can trace a continuous path from the first point to the second. This is shown here, although not really necessary for such a simple problem. We are almost ready to solve for the system pressure. From fluid statics, P1 is equal to P atmosphere plus rho GL. The solution is shown here with the major parameters identified. We also use conversion factors, including the gravitational constant g sub c. Let's not forget that we have already determined that P1 is equal to P2, which is equal to the system pressure, which is the unknown. Crunching the numbers, we get that P1 is equal to 14.7 plus 2.74 pounds force per inch squared, or 17.4 pounds force per inch squared. In this calculation, we included atmospheric pressure, so this is an absolute pressure with units of PSIA. To obtain gauge pressure, we subtract out the atmospheric pressure and get 2.74 PSIG. I hope you found this instructional snippet useful. If so, please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.